Hi, welcome back to this lesson series where we are deciding if fabric is the right fit for our organization. Now, in this lesson, we are going to be talking about enabling Microsoft Fabric for your organization. So right now, after you must have signed up for Microsoft Fabric, you'll be taken into this page right here on my screen. Now, for those people who are coming from a Power BI background, you know a thing or two about Power BI, and you've published some reports in Power BI. Now, Microsoft Fabric was essentially built upon the Power BI service engine, but with the addition of a lot more capabilities and features. So that takes me to, there's also another way we could have enabled Fabric. If you have a Power BI Pro license, Power BI Pro license on your on your Power BI service. So this Power BI service, my Power BI service, I can click on my profile and ideally I should see a place where I could enable Fabric. Now, because I've already enabled the trial, I so that's why you can see trial status and trial days left. But on your own end, you'll see a place where you can enable Fabric or try out Fabric. Now, there's one key thing for us to note, for us to enable Fabric for our organization. Now, for us to enable Fabric for our organization to ensure people can test out Fabric features and capabilities, this is an admin level access or a role. So in your Power BI service or in your Fabric administrator service, you need to have an admin role. It could be a Power Platform admin role, and this role uh, allows you to go into the Power BI admin portal and enable this feature. Now, in this video, I'm going to show us how we can do this from our end, but you, it's important for us to note we need to be a, our own organization Power BI admin, or we could speak to our admin to enable this feature for us if it's not already automatically enabled for your organization as well so how you do it you come to your settings tab on your power bi service you come to your settings how you can go there from fabric for those who do not already have a power bi background you can click on power bi click on power bi it should open this page it will open this page if you already have a microsoft power bi pro license and under the Power BI, you can click on the settings icon right here. Click on the settings icon. When you click on the setting icon, you have a lot of settings and capabilities you can do. But you scroll down to this section called Governance and Insights. And this is where you have your admin portal. Admin portal is where you can enable certain features and capabilities in your organization. Now, so one feature, one thing you can see under this admin portal, we have the tenant settings. And one section which is staring at me in the face right now is users can create fabric items. So you can click on this button. Now, the, uh, the one amazing thing I like about this feature is you have the option to enable it for either your entire organization or just specific groups. What this means is that you you don't want to give everybody the access to probably start creating fabric items, right? But you need your probably your data team to have access to creating this group. Now you can do specific groups based on your Azure Active Directory, and this would have now enabled you to create your groups for if you have a group for analysts, if in your Microsoft 365 platform. You have a group for analysts, you have a group for your sales, for whatever team you can either enable this feature for just that specific user group. Or you can enable it for your entire organization. If in your organization you want people to try out fabric features and capabilities. So once you enable this, this will enable them to be able to try out fabric features and capabilities. Now, in the next video, we are going to be talking about creating a fabric 
workspace.